Hi, Betty Chan here, and this is going to be another vlog for Salt Lake Comic Con, and it was day three. So, today was pretty amazing, yet it was kind of sad because it was the last day of Comic Con, but it was it was a really good day. Um, it started around at maybe, I think it opened at 10, but then like, we actually got there by around maybe 1.30, 1 or 2 o'clock. By the time we got there, it was like pretty packed. The whole floor was completely packed. It was hard to move around, and it kind of took a long while just to get from one place to the other. And But there was like a lot of people who were cosplaying today, which was amazing, because I was amazed that now more people are just wanting to start to cosplay. It was really fun. I actually had a lot of people take pictures of me, and it was really nice because they were all amazed at my doll tights, which I have, and then also that I kind of look like a doll. But what really they liked the most was actually my dress, which was my new Infanta dress, which is the Infanta Snow White, which I actually been waiting all like summer long just to wear this dress because I ordered this in the beginning of the summer and I was like I'm gonna wear this to Comic Con and I actually wore it today because I decided to save the best for last I actually I loved it so much I did my makeup today where I just had a basic liquid foundation which was like a mousse I just patted it all over my face and I actually created a porcelain look and feel and I made sure I put some around my eyes. I just had my one contact in this eye, my left eye. Because my, my right eye kind of was sore from wearing. Because the, the first day I afterwards, when I was taking my contact out, I kind of hit my eye really hard or kind of scratched it. So I decided not to wear a contact. So I was basically a doll with different eye colors. Which I kind of like dolls like that where the different eyes... And people were actually thought that I did it on purpose, which I kind of did, so they loved it. And then I just did my simple mascara, not not too much mascara, just enough, just a little bit. And I didn't bother to put eyeliner on, because I kind of am like, I don't know what's with me. It's like when I put eyeliner on, it ends up being like, when parts of it were thick. Or it's like, I just go way off from the eyelash line. So, I basically just stuck with just the mascara. I did put the eyeliner right onto my eyebrows. Just like, you know, kind of filled them in a bit and just made sure it was kind of thick. Because my eyebrows kind of are not that thick. It's just like sparsely, there's like hair. So, I made sure it's filled in like a doll's eyebrows. And then I decided to just do my simple lipstick, which I used my pink color whisper one, which matched the blush I had on, which is a light pink, a rose pink, in fact. So, my blush matched my lips, and it actually was perfect. My lips were actually perfect, like a doll's lips, all day long, and then you bother to put some more on. And I kind of like the fact that my makeup doesn't feel itchy at all or it's like an irritant. Because I'm actually really allergic to makeup. And by allergic to makeup, I mean when I put makeup on my face, it actually just melts and wrinkles. And sometimes it'll actually peel right off. And But this makeup, it does not do that, which... I love this makeup, so this is going to be the makeup I'm going to use for all my cosplay and Lolita. But, other than that, it was perfect. I even have my nails silver. Just because I like silver. So, that was my makeup for today. And I did put on my silver gray Lolita wig. And I add my head matching head bow. And I put one bow at the side of my head. Just more like to help, you know, clip my wig in place. 
which people were like, oh, that's so cute how you put your bow right on one side. So I kind of like that. I actually had a lot of people telling me, I love your dress. You look so adorable. You, you just look like a doll. So I actually said thank you a lot, which it was hard to stop saying thank you because sometimes when I started talking to people, like, the first thing I want to say was thank you because of all that, but the compliment was really nice. It actually made me feel happy today because I didn't get that much. Well, I did get enough compliments on my cosplay yesterday. Okay. So, I went to a couple of panels. It was really fun. Um, one, but I'm not much of a panel kind of person. Certain panels are like, I want to go to so much, but others I'm like, uh, but yeah. But as I was walking, at first off, I was in the floor where all the vendors and the celebrities were, but it was like so packed, I kind of got nauseous a bit, and I actually thought I was going to throw up, so I actually left to go into the hallway, and I was walking around, and I happened to come upon a Asian couple, and the lady was like, oh my god, you're so cute, can I take a picture with you? I was like, okay. So, I took a picture with her, and then, um, she asked me, like, where was I from, because she kind of thought I was kind of a foreigner. Sometimes I get that a lot, because of, like, sometimes when I actually have my hair straight and all that. So people can actually see that I'm Asian or like just basically like a foreigner. So she asked me where I was from. I said I'm from here in Utah, but I used to live in Japan, and I have a I love Lolita, fa Japanese fashion so much, and I'm wearing Lolita. She knew what it kind of was I think by the reaction I saw from her, but she's like, oh, and she asked me about like my whole outfit, and then she was like, your eyes. Did you forget? contact and I was like no I wanted to be a doll with mixed match eyes and she was like oh that's so nice and the guy she was with was like it's nice too and they are like you're so cute and I was like thank you and then they asked me about it. and then um I told them about my tights my with my doll joint knees and then they were like oh my god it's so cute and they were amazed at that and right after that when they left or not when it didn't leave yet but then like right after that there was this guy that does that was interviewing some people he would to interview me so I was like okay so he interviewed me like asked me questions about Comic Con and asked me some questions about my outfit and asked me if I enjoy Comic Con he asked me the last question was um basically about what are your thoughts on Comic Con if there's something one thing you tell people to come to Comic Con we tell them like the people because of the cosplay and the it was basically more about the energy that involved in Comic Con because the energy was amazing it was like one big party just everyone having fun and so yeah I had my second it was my basically my second interview for Comic Con and then afterwards when I was walking away there was a guy that was working for Comic Con and he was like we need some cosplay people in costumes, cosplayers. We need them to go if they want to be part of the. I think it was like for next. It's basically for next year's Comic Con, like a commercial or a promo, like just a clip of people in cosplay. So it was like meet by the on the bottom of the escalators in about three to five minutes, and so I went over there and waited. But as I was waiting, I just sat on the floor like I was a doll, and I was like looking around at people like a doll. Some of you were like, okay, that's creepy. And others were like, oh my god, that's so cute. So, they happened to get a whole bunch of people. And then out of nowhere, I guess someone took the time to go around and look for this one character. I can't remember what the character's name was called. But, um, hold on, let me find a picture. One good picture. But they actually found like a whole bunch of this one certain character, which I was like, how could you get that much in this one convention? But a lot of people were cosplay as that. It was almost like that kind of costume. About 10, 15 people. So it was kind of exciting and they all went up the escalators at one time and then as we were going up and down, we all high-five each other. 
and it was amazing, it was fun, and so I'm going to be in the promos, yay! So that was Final Con, but I did go back to that one place where I got my gloves. Okay, so I got my washi tape and my letter set from, what was it called? Oh, I got it from this place called Kawaii Hime Castle. Oh, sorry, I had allergies today. And then I went back to the stall with all the stuff. And I found, hold on, find out. A Charmed Life Salt Lake City. So, A Charmed Life was the stall I got my gloves from, which I took a picture of the sign and all that. But as I was walking there, I found this cute hat that they were selling. I didn't notice it yesterday, but I noticed it today. And it's more of a burgundy wine red. So, that's the hat, which has little ears on it, and it's so cute. So, I grabbed it. It was actually the last red one that was still in the perfect shape, because the other one was, like, completely des destroyed. Which I said, we're not going to bother sell it to anyone, because it's destroyed. So, I got this for $10. And then, I got two more gloves, where I got this pink one, where it matches the, some of the flowers on my dress, so... I got these to match with the dress, which I did wear, such as since it was raining outside, so it was kind of cold, so my hands were cold. So I put these on, and then I got these navy blues. Are they so amazing? Like, they're just so adorable. I think these are kid gloves, which, not like gloves for kids, but like made out of kid, which is like a baby goat or whatever. So I got those, so... It was pretty fun today. I loved it. Can't wait to go back next year. I'm thinking of making decoden, like little dessert decoden accessories. So if I do that, then I'll be a vendor there at Comic Con next year. And it was really fun. So I'm thinking, what? I want to be able to try to do a panel about, you know, I want to do a panel about anime and comic and manga, like, in the about, about how it affects people in the US so I want to try and do something like that or maybe if not that then maybe something about vlogging about what you like because sometimes those are like one of the best panels to go to at a convention about vlogging because it gives you new ideas in order to share like what you love about certain things so I'm gonna wait till next year which I don't think I can wait till then, but I will try to keep myself up and kicking. But I can't wait for next year's Comic Con. So here's just one last look at what I wore today, which I wore my new Vata dress, and then I also got this blouse from H&M, which I basically just found it while school shopping. So, yes. So adorable. I love it. And then my knees, which, since I'm kind of tall and I've been walking around so much, it does go down a bit, so I gotta like fix it. But I got doll knees. I got doll knees. Yay! So I actually love these things. These are so comfortable. They're still in good shape, so I'm gonna use them for my bonsai. So. I hope you enjoy this video.